All right, hi, I am ready. I got my headband on, I'm ready for this review. So Fenty Beauty launched their new soft matte powder foundation. I have three shades with me. Um, so let me just go onto their website and just get a little bit more information for you guys. Okay, so Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. It is a buildable light to full coverage for all, long wear, light as air, crease resistant. Those are some bold claims. No flashback. It has blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blurred finish. Sweat, humidity, and crease resistant. Okay. Buildable, light to full coverage formula that loves to be layered, won't settle into fine lines, clogs pores or cake up, reduces the appearance of shine, and it has a chic portable powder compact that fits in hand. That is true. So far that is true. It really is cute. So this retails for $52 on Sephora Singapore. It's already on Sephora. From now on when I mention prices, they're all in Singapore dollars because that's where I live. So it comes in 50 shades and I Happy to have three shades with me. I'm gonna open up this one in the middle just to show you the whole full experience of unboxing this. So this is what the product looks like when you get it. It comes in this iconic Fenty Beauty package. Uh, so you open it up. It has like a little like double, it's kind of like all the Fenty Beauty's products kind of have like a double packaging system where can you see there's like two, like it's sandwiched between like two cardboards just to like protect the product which I really, really like when you open it you have the product so this is what the product looks like it comes in this octagon shaped cute little compact it really fits in your hand oh look at my manicure <laughs> so it has like this little oh this little clasp thing here to open up the product and this is what it looks like on the inside the mirror it's a mirror over here and this is the compact. There's quite a bit of product. Can you see? That's like the whole compartment where the product is. You flip it over. There's this other mirror thing. And then we have a sponge which is actually really really soft. Ooh. So I know that this is my very first Fenty Beauty review. Very first review in general on my channel but uh, I'm actually pretty familiar with the Fenty Beauty range. Like I've been on their PR list for quite a while now, almost like three, four years now. So I have used pretty much all of their products, except this one, which I'm gonna use today. Um, I'm going to be using these hand in hand with some other Fenty Beauty products because I really wanna put this to the test. So I thought I will try this on in three different ways. One, I'll be using it on its own with just a primer underneath. Uh, secondly, I will be trying it with a concealer and then I'll be trying it with the iconic Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Wet Long Wear Foundation. This one right here. I have three shades with me. I have 290, 300, and I have 310. These are the three shades that I have with me. I'm gonna swatch some right now. It feels very soft, very like powdery. I mean, it's a powder, but like. Very smooth, very fine. Okay guys, so these are the swatches up close. I got 290, 300, and 310. This is 300, which is my foundation shade also from the Fenty line. Which is also going to be the shade that I'm going to be using in this video. So 290 over here looks to be a little bit too light for me. It's kind of on the ashy side. This is 310. It's definitely a bit more darker than 300. 310 is what I would use if I had a tan, but I don't have a tan right now. 290 will probably make me look kind of ashy, so yeah, we're gonna stick with 300. So before I begin, I'm gonna start with prepping my face with a little bit of primer. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. This one right here. Um, so this is a powder foundation, so you gotta make sure that your skin is really, really hydrated because powders can dry you out, especially if you have dry skin. Um, my skin is oily combination, but I'm still gonna be using a hydrating primer because I do have like dry patches here and there whenever I get acne and the, sometimes like powders especially may tend to cling on to those areas so we want to avoid that. Okay so I had the opportunity to join uh, a Zoom masterclass by Priscilla Ono who is the global makeup artist for Fenty Beauty and she's actually also Rihanna's personal makeup artist. So during the Zoom session 
Um, she taught us a lot about how to use the product and everything. So one thing that she mentioned was like, you gotta hydrate your skin really, really well. So whenever you're using powder foundations, anything that's matte, you really want to make sure that you hydrate your skin really, really well. Not just with the primer, but with your skincare too. I already put on my skincare, so I'm just gonna put on my primer right now. Um, I am quite skeptical about using this on its own because I don't have the best skin. Like I got acne scars. I got one. I have like a really pesky stubborn pimple right here which is like refusing to go but yeah i don't have the most perfect skin so we'll see how well this does i did try this once during the zoom session um but i didn't have a primer on it was literally on my skin when i just woke up in the morning <laughs> so that wasn't like really like a true test like so yeah i'm really gonna put this one to the test right now with the primer on I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can have a closer look at how the coverage is like so hi how are you doing so uh, I'm going to go in with number 300 this one right here and I'm going to use the little spongy sponge I actually already used a little bit of the other side the other day during the zoom session but yeah here goes nothing I'm just going to pick up the product Oops, it's not bad. Quite opaque. I'm just gonna try on this side. I'm gonna do it on my full face, so let's just try. Okay, so I did one side of my face, and you guys, I'm actually pretty impressed. So this is the side with the product, and this is the side without. That is quite a stark difference, you guys. Wow, it got rid of my redness too, does it look like? So like usually before I put on like any base product, I would use a color corrector but I didn't do anything, I didn't put anything on as you guys saw. Let me just zoom you guys in a little bit more so that we can see. So you can definitely still see a little tiny bit of like my acne scars and everything. So this is like a really good point of reference if you have acne prone skin like me. You can still see like a little bit but like I would say like this is great. Like. Wow, the coverage of this is really really great. It does not feel heavy. Doesn't look cakey either, even on camera, even in real life, it doesn't look cakey. Uh, it did not settle into my fine lines and it did not enhance any texture that I have. It just sort of like, just looks like a veil on my skin, a matte little veil. It did mattify, you can see like, look over here, it's like a little shine, but over here it's completely mattified. So look at my forehead. This side, so my forehead is my least problematic area. So I don't really have acne or anything going on on my forehead. This side is the side with the product, this side is without. Definitely, the coverage is definitely there. Um, it was also quite easy to apply with this sponge right here. Like I feel like it didn't really absorb much of the product. It quite evenly distributed the product really well. And it's easy to use too. Like you just pat, 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 pat. So this way of using this powder foundation on its own is like a really good way to use it if you are in a rush, if you're in a hurry, and if you're just someone who doesn't really like to wear that much makeup. This really works. This looks really cute. Wow. So I'm going to leave this on and my on the other side of my face, I'm going to use it with a concealer. I'm going to use it with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. I'm using the shade. Okay, it won't focus, so it's 330, okay? Um, so I'm just going to conceal the areas which I would normally conceal. I'm going to use a little foundation brush. Okay, no, I'm going to use a little concealer brush. It's like my under eye. Do my under eye. So put there and all these little scars and marks we got going on. Okay, so I've already concealed this part of my face. That's what it looks like compared to the side, so with just the powder foundation. And now I'm gonna go in with the powder. So I'll use the same sponge to apply it. I'm gonna use, you know what, I'm gonna use the sponge to apply like this area, but for my forehead, I'm gonna try using a brush. I just wanna see how it'll look like with like a different tool. The reason why I'm using like Fenty Beauty products with this Fenty powder is because I mean, I would assume like if a brand comes out with a new like complexion product, it would go well with their other existing complexion products. If not, that's kind of weird. Like, that doesn't really make sense in sales of like in terms of like sales, because like you usually would market complexion products together. So I just want to see if like they work. Yeah. 
to be and also to be fair to, for this entire video. Okay, so if I apply the powder on this. Oh, okay. Oh, this part, this part can you see is getting a bit dewy. I mean, I just put on the powder here, so maybe we gotta give this a few seconds too to see how it goes. For my forehead, I'm going to use a brush. I'm gonna use this little brush. It's like kind of like I use this to contour, uh, but I don't want such a loose brush because I still want coverage. Let's just see how it goes. I don't know if you can tell, but using the sponge on this side definitely has more coverage than using the brush. Can you see like this little thing? It's still not covered, so I'm just gonna go back in with the sponge. Clearly, the sponge is better if you want more coverage. Okay, yeah, that covered up a little bit more. Alrighty, so this is what my face looks like right now. It does not feel heavy or cakey on either side of my face. Emphasize that. This part with just the powder, very lightweight. The coverage is great, but if you have acne prone skin like me or acne scars, um, don't expect it to do miracles like obviously you can see like it's still there's like little bits of my pigmentation and scars showing up that's okay that doesn't bother me because like what the hell like this is such a great like for a powder foundation this is great coverage and the fact that it's not cakey it doesn't crumble or anything also do take note I used a hydrating primer on me this primer works pretty well with this combination both combinations which I tried um, doesn't feel dry doesn't feel tight I like it. I really do like it. And on this side with the concealer, obviously I feel like this side is definitely, there's definitely more coverage because I did use concealer. The area around my pimple right here, it's a little dry because it's a healing pimple. So it's healing so it's a little tiny bit dry. But I don't see any, do I see any patchiness? Okay, there's like a bit of patchiness going on. Let me just blend that out properly. I did put like an acne spot treatment prior to this, prior to filming this, so that could be why there's like a little bit of patchiness going on. I just want to have that disclaimer out. There is like a weird patchy thing going on right here. That's where I put like conceal where my concealer is. I'm not really sure what that is because I didn't put any spot treatment there. But I mean, it's not too bad. It's really all right. It's 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 all right. Guess you gotta, I guess you just gotta blend it a little bit more, that's what I see. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Like, it's pretty damn good, honestly. Wow, I'm still like shocked at this coverage. This coverage is really good. So when they say that this has coverage, they meant it. 100% coverage. Um, on this side, there is no settling into my fine lines. Not really. Can you see my eye? So I have like a line underneath my eye, it's quite prominent but it's not really like me and more obvious or anything on both sides of my face honestly I like this side better than this side oh this side has more coverage I don't know why like this side just feels so light and fine not that this side feels heavy or anything it doesn't but just like the fact that just a powder is enough like I've never tried a powder that can cover this much and feel so lightweight and doesn't like crumble on my face or like cling on to dry patches or anything like this is doing everything and more Okay, so now I'm gonna go wash this off and I'm going to do my whole face with foundation and you know what, I'm gonna do concealer too, like a full face, like full, full, like super full coverage. I just wanna see if it works well and if it's compatible with um, other Fenty products including the foundation. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with a clean face. I already put on some toner and moisturizer. I'm gonna go do that whole routine again, well not the whole thing, I'm gonna go in with primer and I'm also going to color correct and while I was washing my face I realized I actually have both versions of Fenty Beauty's foundation. I have the uh, soft matte longwear and I have the hydrating longwear. So I thought why not I do half face for both just to see how the powder works on different um, formulas. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do half my face with the hydrating one and half my face with the soft matte one. So let me just prep my face and get to it. Okay, so I've applied foundation and concealer to my whole face. So on this side of my face, we have the hydrating foundation. As you can see, it's a lot more dewier on this side. 
as compared to this side where I have the soft matte foundation. So now I'm gonna go in with the powder foundation just to sort of like set my makeup and also see if it does add on any coverage. I'm pretty sure it will add on coverage, but I just wanna see how it will look like layered on these foundations. Okay, so I'm going to start with the hydrated side, the hydrating foundation side. All right, immediately the dewiness is gone. <laughs> Definitely max down instantly. It did give like a sort of like another veil of coverage. There is no patchiness whatsoever. So this is what it looks like now. The dewiness still comes through, which I like. I like that. I like that it's not too matte. It sort of just like softened everything, you know? Okay. So now I'm gonna do it on this side, which is the soft matte foundation side. Okay, so you guys, I love how the powder layered on, on the soft matte foundation. It is just so beautiful and I actually prefer this side to this side. Like, I was expecting to prefer the hydrating foundation more to the soft matte one just because I feel like if I use matte on matte, it will be too matte. But this is beautiful. Like I feel like there's still like radiance and sheen on my skin. It, like It's not completely like... <sighs> matte nope whereas on this side with the hydrating foundation i just feel like i think it's a foundation that sort of like there's a bit more texture that's highlighted compared to this side there's a little bit more texture over here but overall i like both sides like i feel like the powder generally works pretty well with both foundations it does not cake up it does not cling on to any patches or anything it's not really patchy uh did not settle into fine lines except on this side a little bit little tiny bit a little bit more like it's not really that much of a difference but i notice it yeah so so far this foundation this powder foundation has done everything that it has claimed to do hmm. wow <laughs> so i'm going to go finish up the rest of my makeup and i'll be back that would take about i don't know an hour 30 minutes so we'll see how the foundation is still staying on my face um, then so yeah I'll be back okay hi it's been about like five ten minutes and I just wanted to like check in before I get on with my makeup um, I have oily combination skin and so initially I was using the powder sorry somebody is texting me um, I was gonna use the powder foundation to sort of like set my face but I can see that my oils are coming back. Usually to set my makeup, I use loose powder to bake. Uh, I was trying to see if I could set it with this, but with all the oils that are coming through, like it's just getting a little bit shiny. I know it's not too much on camera, but I can see it in real life. Like I can see it happening. Um, I think I'm gonna need some loose powder over here. So, I mean, like I still don't think that this is bad for setting i just think that i just think it's i mean it's a powder foundation it's not a setting powder so it was different you know so i just wanted to point that out before i get on to my makeup look so yeah okay i'm back so it's been a couple of hours it is now 10 20 p.m uh, i went to finish up my makeup i went to have dinner and i procrastinated so uh, just a quick update on what my makeup is looking like. Let me zoom in. So I did went and went ahead and baked just because like, I felt like I needed a little bit more for um, oil control because I just feel like this isn't enough just to like set your makeup. Um, I mean it's great for like quick on the fly touch ups if you have a full face of makeup on that is. But when it came to like setting my makeup and also like I like to bake underneath my eyes while I do my eyeshadow so that any fallout can be caught by the powder um i can't do that with this mm. so i don't think this is the best product for like setting i guess i mean if you don't have as oily of a skin like mine maybe it could work but for me i just felt like i just need a little bit more in the oil control department but other than that my skin is looking pretty pretty nice so this side of my face is the side that I use the hydrating foundation and this side is the matte foundation. I know that I said initially like it seemed that this side of my face, this part where I use the hydrating foundation, it seemed like there was a bit more texture and hands but I think after I set it down properly it's not that visible anymore. So it's pretty much the same I guess like yeah it's pretty much the same. This side on 
This side is the uh, soft matte uh, foundation part. This one definitely it looks a bit more drier now. I feel like this part has more texture now as compared to this part. Uh, but yeah, that's after like a few hours of wear. But other than that, my makeup has not budged. I don't see uh, the powder settling into any fine lines or creases. That's something to note um, on both sides. So that's like really good. It still feels really soft and really lightweight. Ooh, and I layered it on a couple of times. So this is after like a couple of layers. It still looks good. It still doesn't look too cakey. So yeah, now I'm gonna tell you guys my final thoughts on this. So Miss Fenty Beauty, what do I feel about you in general? I think this powder is great. Like I really think it's great. The coverage is bomb. Like it's so good. Regardless of which way I use it, whether it's on its own, if it's with concealer, with the foundation, I feel like it did a pretty decent job. Not bad at all, honestly. I love that it's lightweight. And also when even when I layered it on a couple of times, it didn't get cakey. I love that because powders generally tend to get really really cakey you guys like so cakey but this did not feel that way um i think this is really really great if you are the kind of person who does not like to wear makeup that much and you are always in a rush <laughs> this is like a really good grab it and just do it quickly and out the house type of product um if you are someone like me who will like a full beat quite often um, i still think this is a great product if you want to just keep your makeup stash just to like blot your makeup especially if you have oily skin like me this really works um the only way that i would have to say that i didn't really like using the powder foundation would be with concealer just because i felt like with my concealer it was just a bit patchy which makes a lot of sense because powder tends to grip and cling on to parts of your face with more liquid product on it so and the fact that um, I put, I only put my concealer in targeted areas of my face. I didn't put it on like my whole face. So I felt like it was slightly a little bit patchy. It didn't really bother me that much, but that's just something I think you guys should take note of. I much rather prefer using this on its own or with foundation on. Yeah. So if you already have like tons and tons of powders, should you still get this? I feel like. Personally, I have never tried a powder that's like this before. Like, I'm genuinely saying that I've never tried a powder that has this kind of coverage. It's so lightweight and doesn't get cakey. I've never tried a powder like that. Usually, for powder foundations, I use it like, I do like a light dusting of it. I never like put it on like I would put it on the way I would put on a foundation. What am I saying? <laughs> but yeah, I really think this is worth the buy. Like, I 100% think, like, this is not cheap. This is like what, $52 or something, but I really think the price is justified just because like it, everything that this powder claims to do, it does. It does do it. It does. Like they're not lying to you. So Fenty Beauty, you did a bang up job on this. Like I am impressed. I really am. Also the fact that this is so inclusive because usually powder foundations come in like what, six shades. They give you like the bare minimum, but this comes in 50. 50 shades. So there's definitely a shade for you. So the fact that it's inclusive and just like... I'm raving about this product right now, I know, but that's because it really is good, you guys. It's great, I love it, and it worked in many ways, so yeah. So that concludes the end of my very first review video. Yes, uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you have any further questions about the product, please let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every single week. I am planning to do so for the entirety of this year. Should I do other types of videos? Like what, what, what else do you guys want to see other than makeup? Like, I don't know. I'm thinking of doing a room tour, actually. Actually considering that. Hmm. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are out here scrolling through YouTube and you are looking for content to watch, I have other videos up. I'm new to YouTube, but that doesn't mean I don't got you hooked up. So, I mean, just, it's right here. So just click it if you're interested. Actually, no, just click it. I know you're interested because you're watching. You watched all the way till here. So click it. 